This one from Sam Monson, uh, Pro Football Focus, and the 33rd team. Ten quarterbacks in the best situations for 2024. Brock Purdy, one. Jared Goff, two. Jalen Hurts, three. C.J. Stroud, four. Cousins and Williams, the rookie, five and six. And Deshaun Watson, uh, number seven. Uh, Mahomes, Burrow, and uh, Tua, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, I, Fred, I, we've, we kind of alluded to it a little bit earlier. There's a lot around Deshaun Watson. He doesn't have to carry a team like he did in Houston. It's got to be a different feeling and a different mindset for him with all the talent that he has um, around him. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think maybe a silver lining in last year when he had that comeback win over the Ravens last game he played, you know, with a broken shoulder and a high ankle sprain. At the time, we didn't know it, but after the game, and I and I heard him this offseason, I think in his own podcast, say that he learned some things, that he physically wasn't able to do everything with the ankle and the shoulder in that second half, and but he didn't want to come out of the game. And he was just relying on his teammates getting the ball out quickly into the playmaker's hands. And hopefully that he takes that with him this year and carries it is that sometimes, especially quarterbacks, they think they have to be the guy all the time. And there are times definitely that you you need, that's why they get paid the big money. But when you have a good roster and good playmakers like the Browns have with David Njoko and Amari Cooper and Jerry Judy and Nick Chubb and, and the likes of that, you just find ways to get them the ball. And don't try to do too much because you don't need to. There's going to be times you're going to have to carry it. So I just really think he's in a good situation. He just needs to be healthy, be on the field, and and let his teammates help him out and not try to force things um, just because he's the quarterback, the franchise quarterback. And it's not the same situation that he was in when he was 4-12 and 12 with the Texans the last year.